good morning good afternoon good evening or good night depending on where you are in the world my name is cc and welcome to my world <laughs> guys i'm still in kingston my cousins are currently at work they're both at work but my cousin <laughs> my cousin watched the video about um what we went to the supermarket and bought and she's not impressed she didn't realize just how much money we spent on <laughs> just rubbish so so when she gets home she said one piece of cussing she's giving me <laughs> but to, to soothe the burn i said i would cook so i made some rice and peas yesterday um that we didn't finish and i've just made some brown stew chicken with it so this is the brown stew chicken um just letting it cook a little bit more down and then i've just transferred um the rice and peas from the big pot to this pot because the big the big pot the big pot that i cooked was a big pot so we don't need so much so the rest of it's still in the fridge i've just re reheated up enough for me and my two cousins to eat and yeah one's not finishing till later on tonight to be fair they're both not finishing till later on this evening um so i'm just here holding down the fort i'm gonna eat my food now because i'm hungry um but by the time they get home there'll still be enough for them so yeah i'm about to go chow down <laughs> so i've just eat, finished eating um i just wanted to mention because i realized that in my previous video um the sound was really really off and i don't know what it was but i'm gonna play around to make sure that it doesn't happen again so i need to look into to see what if it was on the editing side that things went wrong or if it was just the way that it came out on youtube but definitely going to look into that and make sure that this video i'm well heard i think majority of that other video as well i was whispering so it could be that i just it could have been that while i was editing i just didn't get the sounding correct so if it is my fault make sure that this video is done correctly also guys sometimes i get really nervous because i don't have my camera with me i'm using my phone so like going into a church and recording or being in shop recording or you know like people that are well seasoned in this vlog lifestyle they're used to just getting the camera out and just being like hey guys i'm so nervous i feel rude and nervous to do it so i'm still trying to work up to that level of being confident with with you know recording in a church or or record but also i have to be very mindful of getting the balance of respect as well as being able to get the footage that i think i would want you guys to see or that i think that you guys would want to see um but that's something i'm working on i think it comes with confidence in what i'm doing like i said i'm new i'm still new with the whole vlogging thing but i'm gonna get there i'm gonna get there so yeah next time there was a comment i can't remember who it was but hey girl if if you're watching there's a comment about oh i should have recorded while i was in church next time i promise the next time i go to church in jamaica i will record so that you can see the atmosphere of how the churches are over here so <laughs> take that on board i'm taking that on board So it's about it's about 6 30 here in the evening um and i forgot to mention i forgot to mention i watched tyler perry's new movie is it called mia culpa or something like that what is that about like that's crazy <laughs> it's a crazy plot i won't go too far into it because it's pretty new i think it was only released maybe at the start of this week so i won't go too much into detail but i was just like huh <laughs> plot twist but tyler perry movies are always like that and they're all like i've noticed there's a trend with tyler perry's movies 
they always makes the woman look like she's either slow or dumb or she has some daddy issues or there's always something there's never a woman that's in her right mind and powerful and makes good decisions like you can have intellect but still be stupid and not have common sense and i think that's what this mia girl lacked common sense she just yeah anyway I suggest you all go and watch it. Me and my cousin watched it and we were screaming at the screen most of the time, especially towards the end. We was just like, what if? Who, which woman in their right mind? But it is a movie. <laughs> but yeah, you guys go watch it. It's on Netflix now and it's called Mia Culpa, I think it is. And it's a type of pair movie. Mm -hmm. So like I said, it's 6.30 now. I'm just going to watch some Netflix, I think, and just chill by myself until my cousins get home. One of my cousins isn't getting home till later on. Um, and that's the one you guys saw in the shop with me. She's not the one that wants to cuss me. It's my next cousin that's coming home earlier that's trying to cuss me. So I'm just trying to brace myself because I know she's going to cuss me. I know. I know she's going to cuss me. <laughs> But like you like i said i've made some food so hopefully as soon as she start i can just push the food in her face and be like look i made you this you still won't cuss me <laughs> and see what happens so yeah but i'm gonna go watch some netflix and just chill and cool off for the rest of the evening yeah i need to go babe the place is not that's the next thing kingston is hot i don't know what it is about kingston but kingston is hot and it's not from where i live and kingston i live closer to the coast but it must be that there's a coastal breeze where i stay compared to king kingston don't have no breeze no nothing it's just hot like a desert i, I, I didn't realize that it would feel so different. I think now that I'm staying here, I can notice the difference in temperature. It is really, like you can see, like even how my neck has got a sheen to it. I'm sweating in places I didn't even know existed, let alone have sweat glands. It's just, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so yeah, I need to go bathe as well. So I might go bathe and then go watch a Netflix movie. Sounds like a plan, sounds like a plan. So I've just left out and I'm on my way to go get a taxi. Um, today I'm traveling by myself. So hopefully I don't get into no issues or no problem. Ooh, ooh, look at this. As I was saying, I'm traveling on my own today, so hopefully, I don't get into no issues with nobody on the road or nothing because I can't manage that today. <laughs> but um, I'm just going up to the main road to jump in a taxi, so yeah, I will see you all in a bit. paperwork I had to send back to the UK to my mother 
so we just went to DH DHL um, just because their service is quicker it can take the Express can take three to four days or if you want if you just want standard it could take up to a week so hopefully my mum will get all that soon and um, for the rest of the day I think I'm just gonna go chill go to the park get some ice cream and just have a fun day now that I've got all the paperwork out of the way I can officially just chill out and relax so yeah <laughs> To the boulevard plaza to get ice cream and i really 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 hope they've got rum and raisin because that's my favorite ice cream mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of work to be done, but there is much that has been done. But I just want to say to you once again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thursday morning and it's about nine o'clock um, I'm officially leaving Kingston today I've been here for a whole week no over a week I've been here about eight days now but I'm officially going home today um, so I'm just trying to pack up all my stuff I only brought a backpack and I brought like three outfits because I was only planning to be here for like two three days I ended up staying eight days I'm going home today so I'm just getting myself ready to leave yesterday last night I had a little fun evening I went to the park and I went and got some ice cream and just chilled out and had fun I forgot as well um, another suggestion from one of my subscribers said that they'd like to see more of my daily outfits of what i'm wearing on a day today i guess just based on the weather over here like what kind of clothes i'm wearing um so i'm gonna start doing a little i'm not it's not like i'm fashionista or anything i'm not but i'll start you know just showing a little bit of what i'm wearing because i expected to stay for only three days i only had three outfits um this time around the outfit that i had on i'm gonna try and link or i'll tell you what i'm wearing but yeah one thing i like about the jamaican community and the feel of the place like people are just free to be themselves so there's a guy who just turned up at the park as we was there and just started playing his saxophone and it sounded so it sounded so nice and it was just relaxing like hearing all the kids giggle the children play have fun and the adults chatting and then you heard this saxophone playing in the background and the sun was you know it just was really nice and I, that's what i love about the jamaica cool. like nobody feels a way to just do whatever they want and it's not like what they do offends you or you know like if someone feels like singing They'll play the music and just sing something walking down the road whether they sound good or not and it doesn't offend nobody because it's like they're just singing whatever they feel like someone wants to play a saxophone in the middle of the park 
pick up themselves, go sit down on a bench and play the saxophone. It's all part and parcel of the culture. <laughs> but it was nice. It was nice. So I enjoyed myself yesterday evening. And I always, like, I'm lactose intolerant, but I always crave rum and raisin ice cream over here, especially from Devon House. It's just the best. But one day what I'll do, I'll do a vlog and I'll visit Devon House so you can see it's the ice cream there is just unmatchable with any other ice cream I've ever tasted anywhere in the world. It's just so yeah, I'll take you guys there one day. And if you're in Jamaica, that's somewhere that you definitely should go. Definitely go because it's and it's not it doesn't just do ice cream but there's like an uh sorbet shop there and there's souvenirs there's even a spa there i saw the last time i went there was a spa there so if you're a spa girly or a spa guy there's somewhere that you could go and the grounds are beautiful as well and there's parking and it's not a nice family day out <clears throat> so i'll definitely definitely go and take you guys there with me one time um, but yeah, the place that we went to yesterday sell Devon House ice cream and rum and raisin is just, it's just amazing. So I enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, nothing much else is happening. Like I said, I'm going home today. And yeah. <laughs>